Hello everyone, it's System, and this is Rustic Waters. Hope everyone is well, have a base day. I myself, truly fantastic, really good day. And uh, yeah, one thing I noticed in between videos was this here. Um, my little dot for my like breathing hole, <laughs> when I hit shift, it actually floats up to my forehead and uh, it looks really silly. <laughs> it looks very, very silly. It uh, makes me giggle a little bit, but anyway, definitely a thing. And uh, yeah, let's get back to this pack here and uh, get some stuff done. So I've been kind of prepping for this episode just so we can jump into like a storage mod really quickly. So we're gonna go up here and do easy storage pretty, 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 pretty fast. So we're gonna get that done. Also wanna go ahead and craft a couple things here because uh, we did get uh, diamond in the last episode. So I'm gonna take one of those and uh, probably use it right away. So let's go grab that. I think we need a couple of those as well. Uh, we may need a chest as well, actually. So let's actually get a chest done. Uh, we're going to make a little storage item that is very helpful and uh, very good and uh, pretty awesome. His name is Luggage. And uh, basically, his job in life is to follow me around and be my buddy. So Luggage is a mod. Uh, mod? No, he's a mob. So you can actually make him. You craft him. Only takes a diamond. And then he has an inventory. And uh, if I drop something, he'll actually eat it. So he'll actually eat the items and uh, follow me around, man. He'll actually just kind of chill. Follow me around. There you go. He's a goofy little guy with his little stick legs. He's uh, pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, I'll be using him, especially when I'm mining and stuff. And uh, yeah, he'll just follow me around. You can shift and right click and pick him back up. So he makes for very good, easy, portable storage. And uh, I just noticed that he was in the pack. So we're going to go ahead and use him. Um, there's usually witch water in the pack when he's in it as well. But it doesn't look like there's any witch water. It looks like it's disabled or something. And usually, uh, usually you can upgrade him. But uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. So I thought I'd just show him really quick because he is a really good little thing. Um, especially when you're like exploring dungeons and stuff. I'm also going to go ahead and uh, make something else here because uh, these things are awesome as well. They're kind of like shulker boxes. And uh, well, they're not as good as shulker boxes, but uh, you'll see that in a second. But uh, they're really easy to make. So they just take some of the uh, treated wood. Then you kind of just uh, pop them down. Then you can put items in them like that. Then I can break the puppies. And uh, this thing will actually remember what it has in it. Just super simple, right? Which is uh, really cool. The only thing that it can't do that uh, shocker box scan is uh, basically you can't put another box in it. So yeah, it can't like nest the boxes, which I believe is a shocker box thing. I think that's something you do with them, but uh, you can't hear. Maybe you can't anyway. Maybe I just talked out my butt. Maybe that's how little I know about vanilla. But anyway, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty awesome. And uh, that'll make mining and stuff much easier, which is uh, something I plan on doing pretty soon. And uh, that is really cool. So what I want to get to right away is this here. I want to go ahead and get into this mod here. It is called Easy Storage. Seems very easy and a good little storage mod. So we're going to need a little bit of this here. Where do, you, where do I put all my items in there? Yeah, I need to kind of remember where they're at. Um, but yeah, we're going to set up a little storage system. It's going to, oh yeah, it only does one at a time. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and uh, get it set up, use it, and uh, just utilize it because it's going to be very helpful in the pack to kind of, you know, just have a storage system that can hold all our items in one spot, basically. So, yeah, that should be pretty sweet. I think I have some liquids in here, right? Yeah, I have four and a half buckets. I need to deal with those real quick. So, let's go ahead and get one of them. I think I also have a tank in here. So, I'll go ahead and uh, grab one of those as well. We need these fasteners. Went ahead and made a bunch of those. I also think I made some wires. Yeah, I made some wiring kits. Just get that done. Just grab all the stuff and things that we're going to need. Uh, I need to move all these liquids. Because uh, we actually need to put creosote into uh, the trader's workshop. So we're going to get that done. Uh, we're also going to need a pipe at, right? So let's go ahead and grab two panes. Maybe a piece of glass. And uh, get one of these done. Because I think I used the last one for some crafting recipe. I just can't even remember what it was. Anyway, let's do that. And I can't put that in there. So let's just keep that. <laughs> hey, wait. Let's go ahead and uh, toss some creosote in there. So we've got four buckets. And uh, let's get to this. So this thing here. Let's actually do it by the quest. Because it's new to me too. I've never used this mod before. Uh, easy storage is an early gain option for organizing your resources. It is very limited in functionality and cumbersome in size. But it will suffice until you progress into applied energetics options later. And uh, it looks pretty easy. So I already went ahead and made some of these uh, Camdite plates which was just the Cabinite blend uh, done in the blacksmith uh, workshop. So let's go ahead and grab that. Go ahead and grab you. And uh, we're gonna need a lot of that Cabinite kind of move forward. So I'm just gonna get in the habit of making it because <laughs> it is uh, def definitely something we're gonna go through. Let's uh, stop hitting that with bucket. Go ahead and make a blank box. I'll handle that. And that should handle that quest there. So we got one done, just out of the way. Next one, we got to uh, kind of branches off here. So this is the core. 
Each easy storage system requires a storage core. This will hold the status of your inventory inside of itself. It can only be moved properly using a dolly. So we need to make one of these. We're gonna have to make some Signalium and uh, Signalium is gonna be made pretty easy here. If I can actually find the blend, <laughs> let's hunt that down. Let's go here, go to blend right here. There you go. And uh, it's gonna be made in the chemist with copper, silver, and redstone. So let's go ahead and uh, grab some redstone here. I thought I moved all my redstone here. I'm, I'm actually positive I did. Did I move it back here for some reason? I was moving stuff around. I can't even remember where everything is. But anyway, go ahead and grab you. <laughs> Get that. Then over here, we've got uh, some pulverized silver and some copper. Just need to jump on it a little bit more. There we go. Sounds like it's done. Double just grab that. And I'll uh, throw that through the chemist real quick. So let's uh, pop out the resin. Pop you in. Maybe you in. There we go. Got a signalium. Now this stuff has to be processed, I believe. We've got a use on it has to be done with the uh, chef rat at this point because we don't have any other option you can't just smelt it but you can use an induction smelter and uh looks like just an induction smelter so yeah let's go ahead and uh, give it to the rat he can kind of get that going and uh, we'll look at the other one while that one's kind of going it also wants us to make some storage boxes the storage boxes uh increase the capacity of your system each box attach uh 2500 items basically only one type of storage box can be crafted but higher capacity versions can be found in dungeons. We actually saw those for sale in the city in the last episode. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and craft some of these. I think I have like 16 chests on me. I figured I'd make about uh, three of them. I was going to do four that I saw we could buy one as well. So we might as well buy one, right? So I have that. I have that. Uh, what did I do with my Kaminite? What, what did I do with my Kaminite? Oh, it's all in here. Okay. <laughs> we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, actually make three of them. So that... That and that, that'll be like 7,500 storage right there. So that is awesome, which is cool. Cool. And uh, let's go claim that one. We're going to get a couple levels there. And we're going to go to Guild Trades. And like I said, I saw that there was one down here. So let's go ahead and grab one for 40 bucks. Because uh, what else are we going to spend our money on, really? So anyway, let's go do that. Go ahead and uh, hunt that down, detect it. Sweet. And uh, grab one more. And uh, that'll give us, well, basically 10,000 storage, which is pretty legit. Right? Did it actually give it to me? Claim? Wait. Okay, two of them. If they're stacked. Okay, they do stack. <laughs> hey, wait. So I think we need about uh, that many there, actually. Let's go grab them. Then we're going to go ahead and go back and craft the other one I wanted us to make. So we'd go into... Uh, was it a transversing? Where was this one at? I remember... No, I don't remember what tab it's on in at all, actually. Right there, we need the storage core. So I made some wiring kits. We need to make the gears, and the gear is going to be made in the blacksmith. Uh, it's only going to take five of them. That actually looks really easy. That we only need two. So let's go ahead and grab two of them. That's good. And uh, there was something else we need there. So let's actually hunt it down. It is this one, right? No, that looks like everything, actually. We actually have everything we need for the core. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Uh, why is it not grabbing stuff? Wait a second. <laughs> I'm very confused. Okay, there it is there. I don't know why it didn't show there at first. Anyway, there we go. We got the core. That is awesome. So I think the core, we can basically take it, pop it down pretty much anywhere. You right click on it, it says zero, zero for storage. You can go ahead and grab one of the storage boxes, right? Disconnect it, right beside it, and then 2,500 storage. And this is already a box that can hold 2,500 items, basically. And we can increase upon that just by doing this here. And it doesn't have to be in a line like this. I think it'd just be touching pretty much in any way you want. But it can hold 10 files and items just in this. This is basically a giant box right now. But we're going to go ahead and upgrade it a little more. And we're going to go ahead and grab this. So we needed like four of these. No, I think it was only two of these plates, right? So let's go ahead and grab that net. Grab the rest of our Signalium. Go ahead and check out the rest quest here. Actually, let's grab a reward. There's a dolly. It said this thing could be used to move this. Yeah, we could just move that. Can't move anything else, it doesn't seem like. And it uses a little bit of durability. But uh, that looks like that's the way to move this thing around properly. I don't know what happens if we break this, so I don't want to, because it says this is the proper way to move this. So it may be a little risky, so I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, actually, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it now, right? So let's go ahead and throw something unimportant, something like that there, maybe two of them, and break it and see what happens. It just doesn't break, it just uh, unbreaks itself. So that makes sense, anyway. Go over here. The next thing it wants us to make is the search box. This is going to take uh, two reception, uh, redstone reception coils, 
which I'm not sure if we actually have those ones. Were those the ones we got as a reward? No, it isn't. So let's go find out what that takes. That takes probably um, a wiring hit and gold. Gold is the other thing. Okay, let's go hunt that down. We need like four. That looks good. I think it was done on blacksmith. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually get two of those puppies. That looks good. And uh, we should be able to craft that one now. So grab the search box. Actually, we need uh, one more of these. Let's get you. Sweet. And uh, stop looking at that table, man. <laughs> I really need to stop looking at it. Anyway, let's go and grab the search box. So we have this part now. And I think this thing, all it does really, is add a search function here. So if I had, say, two items in here, and uh, I want to find uh, Signalium, there you go. There it is. It'll just search for the item through the list. So that's all that does there. Really awesome, really cool. It uh, makes it much more useful, much easier to hunt things down. Also got a treasure chest here. We got a cache, which is actually really nice, and extractor. I think this is a 3x3 three three, uh, digger, basically, is what that is. And a cache, I believe, is just a big giant storage, right? Yeah, this is going to hold 20,000 items of a single item. So it can only hold, say, like 20,000 wood or something. But I can take, like, all my wood, right, and just go in here. <laughs> It'll just store it in there and have a nice bar and uh, makes a good little uh, display of it as well. So we'll definitely probably use that for something. Not sure if it's going to be wood, but we're going to end up with a ton of wood either way. So it wouldn't hurt to put wood in it. So what is the next part here? Next part here is going to be... Access terminal. The access terminal is your interface to pull and place items in your inventory. It is limited in functionality, functionality in comparison to higher tech options such as applied energetics. So I think we actually have those. We got those as a reward, right? These are the uh, redstone transmission coils. I just needed a couple tempered glass here. Go ahead and grab two of those. And uh, this is a super simple system. I'm actually already liking it. It's going to be pretty easy to use and uh, pretty straightforward for the most part. Uh, it wasn't this one. It wasn't the search. It wasn't the crafting. Which one is it? I don't have it here, maybe? <laughs> Let's do uh, that there. There we go. I should be able to pull it right up. Awesome. And uh, I don't know what this one does, though. So this one here, like I said, it's an access terminal. So we can access our items. But we can already do that with the core. So I don't know what benefit this one has over the core at all whatsoever. So I don't know if this is just like, if I want to pipe it into another room, because I know we can make these things. So I looked up something about this mod really quick. And um, you can make these uh, blank. We made the, the first item we made, the blank box. You can basically make these puppies and then run a line of them and then like pipe a storage over in another room or an import or other stuff. Stuff we can't even make. We can't even make the imports for this, I don't think. It won't let us, right? So these things right here. Yeah, we can't even craft those. So basically, I think this is so you can make a terminal in different areas around your base using those blanks to kind of run the line. They're basically the cabling to kind of link up the system. So we really realistically don't even need this thing because we can do everything we need to straight from the core. But uh, we can take this one further. So we actually go back in here. Let's claim that fishing rod. I think that's a thermal fishing rod, isn't it? Let's go to uh, recipe here. Yeah, thermal foundation. Nothing special. I think it's just uh, more durable. Um, we can make this here. I found it funny because uh, I was looking at it. Why they didn't add this into the quest line? Because this one here is actually the most important part. This is called the crafting box. So we're going to go ahead and make one of those really quick. Let's do that. Then go ahead and pull this puppy out. That looks good. And I don't know why I'm trying to craft it in there. I wish you could use this... Uh, Trader's Workshop as a vanilla table and make it much more useful. I shouldn't have to, like, I should still be able to use, like, the 3x3 three three to craft things. You know what I mean? Just, uh, yeah, it makes me not want to use these uh, artisan tables. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, get this one done. It is called the Crafting Box right there. That is cool. No quest for this one. But like I said, this is the most important one. And what this one does is add functionality to the interface and to the core so we can craft in here as well. So I don't understand why <laughs> they made it basically. Um, yeah, they didn't add a quest is basically what I'm trying to say. So you could just, yeah, I could just craft in here now. So if the items were in the storage, so even if they were in here, right? So that, that, uh, drop them there. Go to, I guess, that crafting. Just do that. Shift click it in. Boom. It pulled the items out. Let's me craft it. And then I could drop it right back in. 
Super easy, simple crafting when it's just in a nine by nine grid. So, and okay, the next thing we're gonna do here is probably go ahead and uh, head to the nether. I think we can actually get another one of our keys to get to uh, expand our base, right? So I wanna do that. I need some purified water though. Hopefully we got enough in here. Throw that in there. And then we can actually go ahead and make some packed ice. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, make a few of these anyway. I don't know how many I need right now. Like eight maybe? I made these here, the flasks. Uh, these are the flasks that we could drink. I guess we drank one early on. Um, I guess it might've been last episode, right, actually, to, um, what's it, the heat up? Yeah, the heat up, right? So these ones actually cool you down. So when I'm in the nether, if I get overheated, I'll be able to just uh, kind of drink one of these potions here, hopefully, cool down long enough to actually find a blaze rod. So the reason I want to find a blaze rod, basically, is if we can actually make this machine here, which we can't even use yet. We don't have RF yet. I just haven't gone down that quest line. I will really soon. But if I find one blaze rod, I graph this thing. And uh, once I do, we basically have this quest line done because we've already done the batteries, the power cells. So yeah, we have a key, man. Then we have bigger base. So that is what I'm going for. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably load up this crate here. Do I need stuff here? I need that. I need you, I need you. Probably a couple different kinds of food. And uh, we'll just head to the nether. Just gotta risk it for the biscuit. I don't know if this thing works across dimensions, but we can always try that. Definitely wanna bring a bow. And uh, that is pretty much it. It's chugging along a little bit, getting a little world gen, but I think that is the portal in there. Yeah, we actually have a portal right in there. There we go. Not seeing any mobs though. So maybe this one doesn't have spawners or maybe they just haven't spawned in yet. We'll just leave that there for a second. <laughs> Let's check the quarters just to be safe. Doesn't look like there's anything in that one. Okay, because the last one had lava and uh, those blitz spawners. There were two kinds of spawners, right? So that one's already dead. Did I already come over here and do this? I don't remember coming over here and doing this one. Although I maybe uh, remember things wrong. <laughs> anyway, what does this do? We may need these. What are these things? These are ember heat lamps. And I don't know what they're for. <laughs> I want them though. They're fancy lamps. Let's grab a couple of those. And then head inside this thing, and uh, at least get another man. Okay, I must already clean this one out. Yeah, obviously I did, because uh, there's like spaces and stuff. So I just don't remember doing it. I must have did it in between uh, this episode and last one. Actually, I definitely did because I put these here. Anyway, let's go ahead and head through. I definitely haven't been through here yet, so we'll head through, see what kind of gen we get, and uh, yeah, just kind of see how this works out. Maybe a little chunky in the load because it is the first load, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully it goes pretty good. I don't know if there's any like mobs in here, like in this dimension. Oh man, this is a bad spawn. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know if there's like any custom ones or anything, but uh, I guess we'll find out really quickly. We definitely got some quartz here, so let's grab that. I didn't really bring any extra tools either now that I think of it, but anyway, we'll see if we can actually survive. Like I said, I don't plan on being here very long. Uh, we got the uh, regular magma slimes. Is that Natura? Yeah, Natura. Uh, ground there, which is uh, I didn't even know Chura was in the pack Hopefully we see a dungeon almost right quick uh, right away right quick. I have no idea what I'm saying uh, If we can find one right away, then we don't have to you know run around forever Which uh, would be nice also I need to pop this stuff off right and then pop this on because this armor is actually supposed to keep us cooler Right, so we'll try that out but I'm gonna grab a little bit of this quartz for sure our heat's gonna probably keep going up no matter what uh, there's nothing I can do about that. I think this one is just supposed to like slow down the heating process so you don't heat up as quickly, right? But uh, anyway, we'll deal with this stuff. Oh, nice. Uh, that magma slime actually gave me a mega loot chest. So, and this is 30 bucks and 25 cents. I guess uh, four times 20 cents. So, like $31 in that one little chest there just from one mob. Uh, that's actually not bad at all. I should do this too. We're heating up really quickly too, so uh, I'm gonna try out one of those cooldown bottles and uh, see how much it actually cools us down. Oh, that is considerable. Okay, so we can actually spend some time here. Uh, not a ton of time, but uh, at least a little bit of time <laughs> uh, before we're gonna have to go into panic mode. Should have cleared out the rest of our inventory, but uh, I need to move quick now and uh, hunt down a blaze. Oh, we actually have some uh, nether lapis ore. Might as well grab that, right? Free lapis, always a good thing. There you go, that is cool. Don't know if we need these uh, blue shrooms. We're gonna go ahead and grab a couple of them as well. Cause uh, blue mushrooms sound fantastic. Just uh, very important in my life for no apparent reason. 
But um, yeah, not having any luck here so far. Hopefully, like I said, we find a fortress uh, relatively quick because uh, that'll make our life a lot easier. Anyway, let's kind of keep going here. I don't even really want to stop too much. Is this fuse wood here? No, that's dark wood. Uh, fuse wood explodes, I think. So yeah, if there is fuse wood in here, be a little careful of that. Also, we're looking for spiders, so we have Natura. So, oh, that was uh, not expected. <laughs> which means we may have the big giant uh, heat scar spiders, which is uh, something we need to be aware of. And uh, they could probably give us a little bit of poison, now that I think of it. Because uh, that was one of the things I needed too, actually, flame string from here. Um, I think I remember seeing needing these sh the shrooms somewhere too. So let me double check that. Yeah, we need them for like mycelium. Anything else? I'm not sure if we need them for anything else. We're gonna go ahead and grab them because uh, there's obviously some custom recipes in here for this. Okay, there's one of those big spiders I was talking about. <laughs> see if we can get a deal with him. I don't want him to destroy his items if he's the one I gotta get the uh, thing from. Yeah, that is a heat scare. But uh, we'll just use a bow. Yeah, we need a whole bunch of this string here. I think it was for the uh, satchel to make us a backpack. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, deal with these guys real quick. <laughs> anyway, they're kind of moving a little funky too. These guys have always moved a little funky. Ever since they have been, uh, I guess ever since like 112. They didn't used to always move funky, but they're a little twitchy these days. So that is the thing. But um, that gives us 15. And with that, we'll be able to make a satchel. So that'll be like a backpack that we can wear, carry around, and uh, carry around, I mean. And uh, hopefully upgrade over time, because I think we can upgrade those as well. So I got myself a good little bit of uh, glowstone here. Just a little bit here. Don't want to go crazy because I honestly don't have a lot of durability on this pick. So I don't want to push it here. I think I could make a wood pick uh, with the wood here. But um, maybe I'll do that just as a backup. I really wasn't thinking, man. So anyway, we won't worry about that right now. My main thing is just find a fortress. Just give me a fortress. Let me move on with life and uh, get out of this dimension. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, I finally found a fortress. So I should be able to find one. I just need to kind of get up. So I'm at like the pillar of it here. So... That should work out. That'll get us there. So I've been wandering around a bit. I think I've already used uh, four of those bottles. So they're uh, going away pretty quick. Also got some glowstone and stuff. And uh, another money loot chest, actually. What is it in this one? Oh, man. Lots of money. This place is really good for money so far. It's uh, really cool, actually. Let's go ahead and grab you. Go ahead and toss you in there, you in there, you in there. Awesome. And then we need to get up there. 37 should be more than enough, I would think. Hopefully. If not, I can just build through it, right? But, uh, yeah, I need to keep moving fast, basically. I can't really waste a lot of time. Uh, you can cut down the trees here and, uh, you know, just get the, um, what do you get from here? <laughs> what am I trying to say? Cut down the trees and actually make yourself a pick. So if you do get stuck here, kind of deal with it that way. Because uh, that is the way I did it. But uh, here we are. And uh, we're actually getting really hot again. So that is the wrong one. Let's uh, find the right one. There we go. Drink this puppy. Thank goodness these cool you down as much as they do. But uh, anyway, I just didn't want to go ahead and uh, make the other stuff you need to kind of cool yourself down. I just need an axe though. Where's my axe, man? Go ahead and grab that. Also notice the trees here. They kind of bug out when you cut them down with the axe and they only drop one piece of wood. So yeah, when you uh, cut the uh, bottom log, basically, it doesn't work right. Saves you from falling in the void. That sounds wonderful. What mod is that? That is a... Uh, that is a uh, cyclic, right? Yeah, that is a really cool item. Never really used that one. This one's actually a reward we're gonna get here in a second. Another pick so we don't have to worry about it. And some gears from Andrio. Hearty snack lets you phase through walls for a second. That sounds neat. Anyway, I wanna try that actually. Ah. That is actually really cool. <laughs> I don't know how long it lasts because I don't wanna get stuck in the middle of a wall. Oh, that's bad. What? Oh, no. Did that just, like, let me almost fly? I'm so confused as to what had just happened. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. I've never used one of those before. I've seen it before, but just never used it. There we go. We finally got a couple blazes down here. Should be able to grab a couple rods. Pretty easy. I should be shooting this far, should I? <laughs> really no reason to. Let's get a little closer. There we go. Yeah, there must be a spawner down here, which is good because uh, I'm down to about like two bottles of uh, drinks left, and uh, after that I'm done, right? So I need to get I need to get out of here soon. Basically, is what I've tried to say. Ah, take that and that. There we go. That there's our blaze rod. I'd like to grab a couple. We could, 
And uh, must as well milk the time here that we have. And uh, that is good right there. That's actually awesome. And uh, another one. So is there like a spawner in one of these? Maybe that's a spawner up there. Yeah, we got a spawner right there. Ooh, look at that. Nether diamond ore. Look at this. This is good stuff right here. Let's take that. My first diamond ore of the pack. And uh, I guess diamonds that I've actually mined. And uh, it's not even overworld. It's nether diamond ore, which is uh, kind of funny. But uh, pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and get one more cold drink into us. I just want to check this last haul. Last haul. I swear. That'll be it, man. <laughs> Why am I doing this with a pick, too? Anyway, let's keep moving and uh, hoping for the best. We got two spawners here. Okay, that's what's happening. Okay, I'm pretty much done here, I think, for right now. I should probably get the heck out of here. I'm pushing my luck. Ah, oh, we got more diamond, though. Can't say no to diamond. <laughs> Seems like the nether might be a good place for diamond. Like... You can just find it really easy, grab a tiny bit more quartz, and maybe try out that hearthstone, because uh, that is kind of important, right? And okay, crossing my fingers, hoping that this uh, hearthstone actually works here, but uh, it looks like it's working. It's channeling, so we should be good. I think we're good. We're actually going to get home, right? Yes, we're home, man. We made it home. There we go. Awesome. Where am I, though? What is going on with my world, and why is it daytime? I made it so you can't be daytime in my world. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know where it's loading me. You think it was loading me back in my regular place? Um, It wouldn't be doing this. Like, what is going on? I'm very concerned right now. And okay, I finally got home here. And I just kind of craft a couple things to kind of get this abuser done. But my bed was broken. I actually spawned inside this uh, amble. So, yeah, I haven't set my uh, bed in a while. I must have moved it and then uh, forgot to reset it. Cause I have to do the whole thing cause it turns it daytime and then I have to make it nighttime and it's a pain in the butt. So I must've forgot, but either way we're okay. And I think we have pretty much everything we need now, right? So if I go into here, oh, it needs solder as well. I think I have a couple buckets left here. Yeah, we have two of them. That's good. And that's going to take 500, uh, milli pockets. So let's pop you in there. And what else do we still need? Hey, an actual solderer, which uh, kind of makes sense, right? <laughs> solderer? Oh, I have one of those here somewhere. Must have tossed it in one of these. It's weird, too. If you're crafting a recipe, it doesn't require the tool. Sometimes it, like, pops it into your inventory. It's a little weird how it works and a little frustrating uh, with these tables. So, anyway, I know I keep talking about how these tables are a little frustrating. But as I'm using them, and this is a mod I haven't really used much, I'm finding these tables more and more. This is quirky and hard to work with. But anyway, we've got a uh, augment. Flux linkage connector? What does this one do? Allows for rechargeable items to be charged very, very rapidly. No, it doesn't matter to us. I mean, we don't have RF yet. So, so anyway, we can't use this machine yet, I don't think. Unless this one takes redstone. I know sometimes they take redstone. Uh, let's check that out here. Some of the chargers, anyway. Redstone? I have no redstone in here. Let's go hunt down some redstone. <laughs> Test that out real quick. I think it was the uh, IC2 one that takes redstone. But you never know, this one might as well. So it's definitely worth trying. Definitely reskin this thing as well. It looks kind of odd. No, this one won't take redstone. So we can't do that. So we can't use this yet. But basically, in time, we'll be able to take the battery out of our vehicle. And then, yeah, just kind of pop it in there, which is uh, pretty sweet. And uh, I guess the last thing we need is a power cell. And we have one of those in the system, I believe. So let's go to power cell. Grab that. There you go. And uh, that was just this recipe here. I think it was just aluminum, right? Lunum, one of them, and a uh, wiring kit. So nothing too big there. But uh, once that's done, we get some free arrows, and uh, we're going to get a key here. What is this? What is this? What? You have certainly come a long way. Deserve a hub. Expansion key for your progress. Take your sub to visit an underwater village and check out the sea merchants to trigger this quest. Oh, <laughs> so... I have to go visit a uh, sea merchant. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, jump into our vehicle. There we go, we're back at the village here. Maybe we can kinda actually go in the right way this time. Kinda like this here. There you go. That is cool. Just kinda park it. I actually forgot this thing over by the nether portal, but uh, the good thing is it actually stays there. It doesn't like despawn, because I was able to go back and just grab it. So that is a good thing. But uh, we should just have to interact with this, or is it a specific one that we have to interact with? I'm not sure. No, that's it right there. So getting around, and then we're done, and hub expansion key controller. So 
that actually finishes off that quest line and means we can head back to the base and uh, yeah, just kind of push forward and uh, expand our base basically. <laughs> so let's go do that. And uh, yeah, just get that done. And then yeah, we'll have a bigger base, man. That'd be a good time. Uh, which way is home? This way, right? Okay, we're back at the base and uh, we're good to go here. So we have the key. We should be able to like open up the section. I'll probably use this one too. So it's gonna be a thing. But anyway, that's that there. Oh, did that actually break something? What did that break? There was like, how did that break? That's impossible for it to break that multi-block. There was no part there, was there? What? I don't, I don't know. Oh, I see what happened. <laughs> I see now this part here, right? Did that take out the whole back wall? No, okay, good. I was a little concerned there for a second, but I basically have to repair this, right? Oh, it overwrit two of it. So I have to actually fix this completely? That actually sucks, man. But uh, we effectively have a new space here. We have a new big room. We're good to go. And uh, I can actually expand a lot easier now and uh, maybe set up some farming because uh, we are in desperate need for some farming. Plus I think we can make money from it. So that was really cool, man. We got uh, quite a bit done today already. We got a storage system. And uh, of course I got to repair these though. <laughs> I think we have like one more of each two, which means I have to do one more recipe. Just let me check real quick. I think that we have like tiny bits of bricks, like one piece of each, right? Yeah, we have one of each. Look at that. Just from the leftover of the recipe. And I'll still have to do one more to fix the uh, Coke oven and the blast oven. Totally derp. And okay, we might as well, while we're at it, go ahead and actually make our satchel. So let's go ahead and get that done. You can make the leather just with the wrap pelts. Really easy. So we'll get that. Then we have the flame string that we just got. We're going to get another one of those inventory uh, crafting uh, tables as well. And uh, we have two. We really only need one, but... We can just use this thing so I can actually eat this <laughs> Just do that. And up here we have a new button, it has a little C here. And uh, we can actually do some crafting in our inventory. So pretty cool how that works. So I mean, you just craft inside your inventory. Really neat, really easy, and uh, pretty nifty. So anyway, let's do that. I might as well eat this one too. Actually, I'd rather eat food that's actually giving us nutrition because uh, that's not giving us any nutrition. Where am I at? I get it pretty maxed out here. Fruits are almost maxed out. Let's just eat an apple. Just uh, keep that going. And uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of buffs now. I think we still have a buff to come from grain and protein. But uh, right now it's giving me toughness three. So that's why we actually have those six extra hearts. So that's pretty cool. Uh, which satchel are we, are we making here? Let's go to here. Go right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, what is the actual recipe? Flame string, leather, and a chest. So I guess we could just grab a chest. Let's do that. There we go. That is sweet. And uh, that should be everything we need, right? So if I go to this puppy here, isn't that it? Oh, it's on the tailors, right? So let's try that. There we go. We've got our actual satchel, right? You got to give me the quest. There we go. Got to give us a ender chest, which is really neat. But uh, that's not very good without one, <laughs> with only one of them. You need uh, two ender tags for it to actually do anything. But anyway, your satchel can be upgraded in Taylor's workshop using a thermal foundation upgrade kit. So uh, which, which kit does it want? Let's go to here, check that out. Wants the hardened. I don't even know if we have paper right now. We have Invar. Uh, we may not have paper. <laughs> Can't remember how to make paper. Let's go to here. We had to make paper at one point. I just don't remember how we did it. Oh, leaves and water. Do I even have paper right now? No, we don't need that this second anyway. I'll do that in between episodes. But basically, this is just a satchel. It has space. I could store stuff in here. Uh, I can keep important things in here. And then, yeah, just kind of access them as I need them. So that is pretty cool. What's it have here, too? I'm not store. Some objects can be enchanted. Um, I forget what this could be enchanted with. Oh, yeah, that's how you upgrade these, right? Well, you can use the upgrades. Plus, there's like a holding upgrade. And the holding upgrade, I think, makes it hold more items. So, yeah, that is pretty cool. And I think both upgrades actually make it hold more items. Like once I upgrade this, I think it gets another row. Maybe it's more for holding as well. Honestly, forget. But anyway, pretty cool. We actually have a, uh, I guess, backpack here, right? So that's pretty good. And this thing actually has like auto collect options and stuff too, right? So you can press V, uh, press v to um, enable auto collect and automatically put things like directly in the backpack, which is cool. The only thing I'm not sure, let's go to options, control, go to category, thermal, thermal, no. Uh, it doesn't look like you can wear this one, 
So that is the only thing that isn't that great about it. Wish you could wear it, you know, clear up an inventory spot. But uh, this still works, man. And I can upgrade it as we go. Keep all my tools in there and stuff. And just have everything handy. But that is really cool. So we got a new room, which is awesome. I will have to fix these two. But uh, they're just simple recipes. I think we just need dry spun. Uh, spun? No, dry sponge. <laughs> and then, yeah, we go ahead and uh, start building things in the, our new kind of uh, area here. And uh, expanding out, right? And I'll have to fix that floor too. Kind of move that uh, portal. But... That is pretty cool, but I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this one up here. So, as always, if you guys like this episode, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.